this is horrible lighting. But if you have me on Instagram or Facebook, you might already know. We got a puppy. Um, so we had a dog in Hawaii. His name is Jace. He was um he was bedhead. Anyways, um he was he would run four five this year. Actually on Joey's birthday, which was yesterday. Um Joey turned four. But we had a dog and um a certain someone, because we couldn't take him with I couldn't fly him back with us at that moment. A certain someone gave him away. Um, um, I'm not going to go into the details. He gave him away. And I have been <coughs> pretty um, distraught about not having a dog. Especially that dog, because I loved him so much. He was my giant bear dog. But I kind of felt like I was like punishing myself the last few months not getting another dog. For a couple reasons. One, it's hard work. Two, Jace was the perfect dog, and so I just didn't think anybody could replace him. It's not really replacing though, but yeah, I couldn't find another dog that would match up. <clears throat> and um, three, I just kind of felt like I wish I had done more to try and get him here before it happened. Um, <coughs> but I did try at one point to buy him a ticket. The hardest part was um, I needed someone to take him to the vet to get him cleared. And that wasn't happening. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, so that's the answer for those that were wondering what happened to Jace. That's what happened. Um, and so I kind of felt this weird situation where I was like, nope, never gonna get a dog, not gonna get a dog. It's gonna be a long time before I get a dog. Um, definitely not getting a puppy because puppies are extra work and I have four kids and I kind of wanted like an old lazy dog who just hung out and like snuggled me and was a companion and so then I went online I've been like watching the the Humane Society here and I saw this like Roddy mix who was four and it said he was good with kids and cats and he was four and I was like ooh big guard dog let's go check him out because we have time so on Sunday we went to check him out and they read his deeper profile that they have, and it says, no little kids, but big kids are fine. So I was like, okay. Um, she brought up another dog that was older, too, that was two years old, that came here from China. She said, we don't really know how he is with kids yet, but... <clears throat> so it's awake. Um, you can check him out if you'd like. And we also have a puppy. How do you feel about puppy? We have a puppy that came here named Patches, and... He's a border collie mix, blah, 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 details. So we check out the two-year-old, and the two-year-old clearly didn't like the kids. Started kind of growling, and that's not good for the kids or the dog, so that was a no. And <clears throat> she said, do you want to see the puppy? And I was like, sure, we might as well play with the puppy. Why not? Who doesn't like to play with a puppy? And it walks this little tiny puppy who is the most chill, sweet, adorable puppy. Angie threw a giant temper tantrum within like a foot of him and he was completely unfazed by her. He was just kind of like, why is she so mad? Um, Theo and Joey were getting crazy playing a ball and again he just was so chill and we were there for like half an hour just playing with this puppy. And at the end of the, <laughs> the time I decided we were getting a puppy. Um, not just that puppy, we were getting this puppy, this puppy. So they had to, of course, fix him because it's a humane society, and so we had to wait. He was on medical hold to get surgery. And they got him in for surgery. <sighs> Sorry, the kids woke me up at four. Seriously, this bedhead, guys, it is on point. Um, <coughs> so he was on medical hold for um, however long it took to do the surgery, but they did it on Monday. So on Monday, I was like, well, I'm not going to pick him up today because I have to get him some stuff with all the kids. So then I ran Costco to get groceries so I wouldn't have to worry about it this week. Took care of everything I needed to do that day. Got him a crate, got him some toys, got him a collar, got him food, uh, made sure everything was good to go. Quill. His name is Quill. Um... And then yesterday I went and picked him up 
before I picked the kids up from daycare and got him established. He is amazing. So chill, wants to just sleep. Right now he's playing, of course, but we've been up. He would have gone back to bed. He kept trying to get me to go back to bed. He kept looking at my bed like, why are we not in there? He slept on Angie for a little bit. He plays really well with the kids. He's chewing on a fluffy chicken right now. Um, he's been doing pretty good with pottying outside. He had to get, he had to realize that I, it was, he could trust me on a leash. I could tell he had a really big time with that. Um, but now he can trust me on a leash and so when we go outside, I just have to tell him to go potty and he goes. Um, Quill. Quill. He's going places. He should no. Come here. Come here. Did you already pull out the thing? Oh. And he's gonna go potty again in a minute. Because he ate his breakfast. He said, hi. Me? Well, YouTube. Oh, good. Oh, get that chicken. He's pretty much the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, he whined for me to take him out at one point. He did again. He had one accident in the boys' room, and I think he did try to whine for me, but I was preoccupied with the girls. So I was going to go from a fine video to a crazy... Um, but yeah, his name is Peter Starlord Quill. We are calling him Quill. If you don't know the reference, then you are missing out on life. Quill! Uh, but yeah, so we got a puppy and his name is Quill. And he's super sweet. And um, yeah, so that's a big, some big news. He's a sugar puppy. Um, I should take him out now though, because I think he's got to go. So.